Hi guys, this is Thomas from MSB Dogs or Drift69 on Facebook and uh, today I'm going to do or try to do uh, one tutorial about uh, slow motion and how I do slow motion using After Effects and Twixter Pro. So uh, let's see. Let's open uh, Twixter. Uh, let's open After Effects, the CS5.5, and let's import the footage. Which is this one? I should be able to just drop it in. There you go. It is a uh, 720 uh, resolution uh, recorded at uh, 59.94 frames per second using GoPro Hero 2 HD camera. And uh, this is important because it's a, a 60 frame progressive. Uh, which is very good for slow motion. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, open new composition. I'll take the, the, the video, drop it in the new comp uh, button here, folder, and we have a new composition. Now what we have to do, we have to uh, adjust two little things. And one is uh, right click on the video go to time and enable time remapping that's one thing because we're gonna have to have a uh, longer video and next we go blending modes and uh, we go sorry not bl frame blending and we go to pixel motion we're gonna select the pixel motion the next we have to make this composition longer because uh, we're going to stretch the video. So we go composition, composition settings. Now it is 3 minutes 58 seconds. So I'm going to make it about 9 minutes 58 seconds. That should be enough. And now let me zoom out. We have a lots of space over here we can stretch the video so we have more room to work with now uh, this is the original video where the car goes through between the cones now what we want to do uh, I like to make it slow down just when it's between these two cones or two pylons or pillars and uh, so we can see how, how narrow is the gate and then maybe speed up somewhere over here again okay so now we are ready to do that so here in uh, effects and presets I'm going to type in Twixter Pro Select Twixter Pro, drop it on the video. Yay! Now, as you can see here in the input frame rate, we have 29.97 and my video is 59.94. So those two have to match. So I'm going to type in 59.94. Next, in the uh, Warping, I'm going to change inverse to forward because uh, the car is coming forward, the camera. And that's it, that's all. We go back to uh, see the video. Uh, now I'll go, I go in a timeline here. I, I uh, select effects, Twixter Pro, output control, and here we got speed. So at the beginning of the video, I'm going to select the key point, set the key point over there, and keep it on 100% of the speed, because that's the beginning of the video. Now I'm going to find a spot just before the car is entering the gate, and set another key point at 100% uh, of the speed. Now, then I'm going to move a couple of frames forward and 
set another key point and this one I'm going to slow down way down to about 5% of the original speed uh, now from this point it will go super slow okay so I'm going to go somewhere behind the gate where the car is way behind so we're probably about three four seconds past that you don't want to make that slow motion too long because then it gets boring and then people are waiting and they want to see it moving again uh, so about three four seconds and I'm going to set another key point keep it at five percent of the original speed and then go a little bit forward and maybe half a second or so set another one and this one I'm going to make again 100 percent uh, so it will slowly gradually speed up and then it will continue out in full speed again out of the picture car is gone uh, now you can just select these two points and move them back and forth it depends on how long you want to have that video in a slow motion also you can select these two starting points and move them back and forth to set the beginning of the slow motion now when we've done that I'm going to select the working area which I want to render which is from beginning to about this point where the car is out of the picture yeah out yeah that's cool and now go to composition settings uh, composition go to add to render queue now uh, before we start rendering uh, I go to render settings make sure I have the best settings in full resolution that's a 720 and then make sure the frame rate is the same as your videos so my frame rate of the video is 59.94 so I'm going to use the comps frame rate settings and click OK and then uh, I go output mo module select uh, not AVI because it's too big so I go to H264 and click on the include source XMP metadata and uh, format options now I have a codec my codec is main concept H264 it's main uh, in uh, highest level 5.1 quality and at the bit rate I have the constant bit rate CBR uh, selected to uh, about I don't know, 25 let's say 25 megabits per second click OK and then if I want to include audio I can click audio but I don't use audio so I just don't include it alright now I'm going to select the destination where I want to record this uh, I'm going to call this one just simple test save and I'm going to press caps lock key so that will cancel the preview uh, while rendering and it will make it much faster and I'm ready to render it so uh, here we go let's see how it goes it should be quite fast because uh, I don't really use the long videos for, for the slow motion so I don't have to wait forever this one will take about two minutes
All right, we're done. And now let's see what we did. This is the video. Here we go slow motion and it goes out again. Perfect. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please uh, visit my Drift69 page on the Facebook and uh, ask me anything you want to know. And if I know the answer, I will answer. Or just type in here in the YouTube. And um, if you like it, please subscribe. Thank you. And uh, see you next time.